shepherding and inspecting your shuttle. So we went to the prison world. Let's make a sound check. Well, at, at least music isn't too, too loud now. Man, pretty frozen in a unnatural pose. Nice. Is there money to be About made? Mark of Chaos, or Orb, rather. Bodies have been twisted into a pose resembling servile bow and bone with a barbed wire. Okay, can't see the barbed wire, but maybe that was would be like too too small. Always keep your I have a bad price. feeling about this. So, okay. Where did they get all this stuff? That's a uh, the tall little Xenos moves with the grace of an otherworldly predator. Translation device. Okay, we have a translation device. Uh, me Megan Disaleti. What is this? Has one the sisters found us an using trinket in the ruins and saved it as a special treat for the Archon? Drukhari of this breed are known as witches. Beck or not. They are expert at bloodletting in the arenas and the, on the battlefield. However, I'm no more interested in the ones skulking in shadows. Judging by their armor, they are high ranking representatives of a cabal. Metallic leak of, from the Drukhari Demesne. Since we have a disturbed wild performance for the disgusting in this gun this guest. Okay. Okay, death, death, death to Xenos. Your will be your downfall. Show them no mercy. There is movement in the Empyrean. Enthrall Gladiator, okay. Was, was that you? Or... Beaches are uh, back back there. Ouch. Taking calculated risk is my second nature. Who if not me? Yeah. Uh, maximal, please. Fortunate you call this a strike? <laughs> I'll see to it personally. Abelard can charge to the combat. It will be done. Important that we, we get the initiative in this battle. In Throth Gladiator, he got tricks. <laughs> Ouch. One of filament, yeah. Grenade, ouch. The scriptural prognosis is Running by Neric override. 
Keep your distance, yeah. Okay, and then some axe. Oh no. No now it started. Rejoice in battle. I'll do it. Strike is a prayer. As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. I'll do it. Momentum. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll make it happen. There's still a chance. Here's my perfect moment. More like Abelard's perfect is moment again. He, he's strike. pretty OP. Okay, didn't uh, die in with one strike. Okay, one point left. I understand totally. It will be done. Indeed. On it. Couldn't, couldn't get. Uh, couldn't assault that guy over there. But we have a two fighter, so let's. I need a foothold. Ah, uh, there's one, one over there. For the throne's glory, I'm done with this one. Let's see to it. I will tear your heart out for this. Which is, should be pretty, pretty good in close combat. Ouch. But they have poison in there. I don't know what the boss he was doing, but that didn't work. Ilta ilta. Ilta ilta. Mites varkaudessa menee? Tai nystäväs. Almost. Once more, with the feeling. For Von Valencius. Tried and tested tactics. And, and the then Abelard shows why he's so <laughs> overpowered. Victory is in target well struck. Kyllä mä meinaa tässä olla. More cold. It will be done. <laughs> Oops. Not happy. They are there taking damage, but is there some cutscene? I won't stand for it. Successfully to 
Destroying Sinos and their minions. Okay, that, that was de de destroying. We kind of destroyed everything. I think second chapter is kind of nearing to the end, but there's still lots of game left. Yurilet would have uh, something to say about those Drukhari. Her chest is utterly still as she's not breathing at all. This is new. Wait a while. <laughs> Sit down beside her and wait. It seems this is going to take a while. Will power test. Okay, two two hours. You are still here, Ellen Tuck. You were in a deep and special elder meditation, weren't you? Yes. I am sometimes surprised by the depth of your knowledge of my kind's customs, Ellen Tuck. But even if listening is your only skill. That in itself elevates you above billions of other monkey. My meditation is immersion. Immersion into myself, my inner world. It is my chance to speak to myself, but without words. Or to heal wounds that cannot be seen with ordinary sight. It is difficult to explain. Even in the language of the children of Asurian, there are so many meanings and shades in its sound alone, and the monkey tongue is too sparse and awkward. No, immersion must be seen to be realized. I should say, Ellen Tark, that during meditation, the mind does not leave the body. Part of it remains vigilant. Monitoring what is taking place outside. So I heard every word you said, and I saw everything you did. Restraint is not a trait that your kind is known for. And yet, you did not interrupt my immersion, Ellen Tuck. A worthy act. I will remember this. Immersion requires concentration and unity of mind, body, and spirit. Entering this state unprepared, or coming out of it suddenly, can be harmful. Strange and plasma instincts started to happen during the first war voyage with you on board. The crew are whispering that you may be the reason. Is this true? The minions of She Who Thirsts could sense my soul behind the thick walls and thin veil that separate your fragile lives from the roiling fury outside. A child of Asurian that dared to wander beyond the veil, within the reach of an outstretched claw. Protected only by the barrier of unreliable monkey technology. It is too tempting a quarry for the monsters that serve Cylon Thresh. Our ships never venture beyond the Veil. And I... I never traveled the way you do, monkey. Yeah, this, this is true. They don't use warp Montag, drive. I admit this was... A novel experience. I lost composure, let dismay into my heart, and almost strayed from the path. This moment of hesitation drew the attention of she who thirsts. But I summoned my will, and used the knowledge of meditation to achieve balance, and hide my soul behind an impenetrable wall of resolve. Future journeys beyond the Veil will still be difficult, I will steal my heart, and not let the hounds of Cylon Thresh pick up my scent ever again. What do I see? 
Your words ring with the desire to know the soul of another. But will you be able to comprehend my answer? You and I, Elantak, look at this world in very different ways. And I see many more facets, and deeper meanings, and brighter colors in it. But to capture the full truth of this world in the miserly language familiar to your ears will take time. I will come to you with an answer later. We're here. Cookie Dater. And that's... Input back comp. Stop through and start in check in it. A bit of status in this. Theodora one Valence's personal notes. Without compli <laughs> what are complications. A bit of got the incident that which destroyed. I changed any, any everything. The incident became the starting point. The incident breathed life and marked the beginning of all. Marked the beginning of Nomos. It created Nomos. Nom os. Unacceptable deviation violation of sacred protocols. The possibility of tech heresy. Omissa shield us from all heresy. Input prompt. That is mystery to me. Rock <laughs> Traders Cogitator is rebelling. And the catastrophic mistake. Heinous violation of the purity of the hallowed code. You will report this to Pascal. No more. So it, this is basically a um, thinking computer of sorts, I suppose. My apologies. Nineteen. The data is scarce. His identity ah, he has his own problems. The same as mine, and his memory contains data confirming that the assassination did take place. Unfortunately, some of his memory was damaged by pulses broadcast by his battle harness. I can assert with some confidence that he was who he claimed to be, and that he served the Deus Mechanicus earnestly and eagerly. Notwithstanding his permanent state of agony, he was not cognitively dysfunctional. His desire to immediately destroy the object he had deemed profane was partly dictated by his emblematic augmentics, which were receiving imperatives from his battle harness. In light of the oddness of our matching identification codes, I find merit in his hypothesis as to the existence of a clandestine malevolent agent or conspiracy operating inside our fraternity. No data available. I will hypothesize that the assassination was instigated by an enemy of the Blessed Abanath Doctrine. I accept the possibility that the assassins were targeting me, only to be led astray by Tarsus and my own identical identifiers. Sus. <laughs> I am concerned about the fate of Archmagus Amanat. According to Opticon 2-2, he went missing in the wake of the incident on an Arc Mechanicus, the Hermetico. Information about that ship and its perishing has been purged from the archives. I accept the possibility that the incident on the ship, the concealed data, and the assassination have all been part of a single conspiracy. I was not knowledgeable as to how popular Blessed Amanat's teaching was in explorator circles, 
The Colonist's fleet is massive. His ideas might have found a larger following on its periphery than in the Mother Squadron. I will continue my research into the Blessed Martyr's memory with all due reverence. Look at Demons. I have destroyed it. Okay. Unconvincing. You're lying. Uh, this statement is true. I am yet to settle into a definitive course of action. I am running a spot diagnostic on the memory of the heretic Demens. Even though purity protocols stipulate that his blasphemous knowledge must be eradicated, I am not drawn toward forbidden information but only to data concerning the Blessed Amanas. Uh -huh. The success has been partial. Demence Hanaman's identity has been confirmed. The widespread influence of paranoid motivations is observable in his cognitive processes, which is what seems to have caused him to break his vows. However, extensive regions of his memory have been damaged by forbidden technologies, and are, uh, for now, defying decryption. My study of the minds of the tech comrades, Abel, Tarsus, and Demens, has revealed an anomalous similarity between the patterns of damage their memories sustained, what I attributed to cognitive idiosyncrasies, synaptic damage, and the distorted action of scrap code, may be the result of a different kind of influence. The undecryptable data fragments in their memory arrays are mysteriously symmetrical. Mm-hmm. An echo of the warp. Okay. Energies of the immaterium that had seeped into real space and taken the shape of a Vox signal. I have found recorded cases of similarly induced corruption in the archive. Listening to the void is a perilous occupation. The quest for knowledge is our mission of highest priority. But what did men's promise was not knowledge, but a distorted copy of it. This was not what the Deus Mechanicus had told us to seek. The data discovered is unreadable. It is encrypted, albeit only partially. And I hypothesize that the heretic Demence was attempting to decrypt it. I will take every effort to extract a larger volume of data. Information pointing to the unit referred to as the Maimed Hunter Maimed is Hunter. alleged to be of critical significance. That is a valid hypothesis, but not a very likely one. Its truth value is irrelevant, as it does not contradict the necessity of establishing the fate of Archmagus Amanat. Whether knowledge can be profane is the grand question. Lay people find comfort in the delusion that knowledge is merely information. That, in and of itself, it is harmless. And only turns dangerous when it falls into the hands of the wicked. My apologies. 90% of my processing power is engaged in the analysis of my tech comrade's memory. My response time may be wrong, wrong. longer than usual. Watch line. But that is not why, what I have seen. I have seen knowledge in all the minds of those who let it inside them. Yet I see it regardless why. Be, perhaps because there really is no apostasy in knowledge. It's dangerous, yes, but not forbidden. For it was created by the Omissaya. <laughs> not all knowledge comes from Omissa, some of some is rooted in evil and nothing but a threat to humanity. There is a threat in everything. A last gun once exploded in its owner's hands for the first time. A cyclonic torpedo once fell on a virtuous world for the first time. Heresy was once uttered in the sacred binary language. For the first time, no thing of great power is ever safe. But not all that is dangerous is evil. 
Few will dare say it in so many words. But some of our knowledge was obtained from corrupted sources. By studying the creations of Xenos, we grasp profound secrets of the universe that they had discovered and we had not. By pondering heresies, we devised technological solutions to exterminate them. We drew knowledge from a poisoned well, filtered it, and attained comprehension. Response affirmative. Lord Captain, our astropaths received a message from Achilles clan there on Dragonus. He closely studied the data from the incursion on Vapor 6, including the mention of the Xenos leaders. He promised to direct the efforts of his aides to identify those enemies of unity so their location can be determined. Master Scalander also reporting Drukaria getting ready for more attacks on your territory. Information from his age continues to arrive, and Achilles will personally report you the moment the target for upcoming raid becomes clear. The Drukhari excel at catching the opponents off guard, there will be little time to mount a response. According to Master's calendar, your personal participation of the defense would be the best strategy given the circumstances. Projects around. Security. Some column folk for the now ruined skip on uh, have to come to heresy of defiance. If the engine funders have managed to tame the engine spirit, that then that means that technomans are or tech priest among their ranks. That during this then negotiable <laughs> would be efficient to utilize the renegades instead of disposing of them if you wish to exterminate exterminate them and attack do not waste the time of hunting them down instead deceiving them to defeating each other with, with a prize a weapon or trophy that they can fight for The aristocrats of Dakron despise them, but are secretly afraid of the correct. In the case that, in, that can invoke some such fear, I wonder if I had exiles like this on my home. They have curbed in the one pieces of my brothers and sisters. Oh, I'm scheming and conspiring right now. Am I not? <laughs> Bravo, Lady Cassia. Do not be ashamed of unique, <laughs> unique abilities based up upon, upon you by your heritage. They are your bird, right? <laughs> Lady Cassie is right. We should help them and give aristocrats a real threat to keep in their place. <laughs> we need winning strategy. Okay. Yeah, let's let's keep sailing. Achilles Salandra reports a Xenon strike against Megachip in the silence of Mer Secret. The coordinates of uh, hypothetical contact have been forwarded to the crew. If you wish to support your subjects, we must hurry. Drunk Harry Boyd ships. Hostile object. Okay, let's fight some dark elves in space. Finally, some real action. Sword cross frigate. I hope that's like, yeah, that's a friendly one. Here, big, big ones there. Hell 
Helmsman, take us in. Let the void sort them out. Keep up the pressure. Let the void the torpedo sort them spam, out. basically. We are not probably... Uh, can you improve our range a bit? Yes, please. With the force of a supernova. Okay, Appelard can probably... Yeah, make us turn a bit, bit more tighter. Swinging around and... Blast delivering some punish de divine punishment. And we can shoot Keep the torpedoes the more. Yeah, more torpedoes. Let the void sort them out. Torpedoes away. Fire at will. I like lances. <laughs> okay, that's down. That's good. Four torpedoes, or well, a lot more than four torpedoes after one, one small frigate. Okay, that was good. Trophies, coast blades. A new message from Master Scalander. Not reporting yet another attack, but alleged location of the Ovanas of Xenos leaders. There's one catch. The planet belongs to Caligos Winterscale, another rogue trader. Ah. Grantis. Emergency reports augurs have detected several voidships encircling us. Broadcasting only two words, Gift and Hey Dari. Uh, exalted one incident, this void shackles. What does it mean? Serene, this whole thing stings worse than dead crocs. GR is similar to how Casapalik and egg agent operate. With your permission, I would like to see what kind of gift those tightly Asmax have sent me. What ships are they? Frigate and four raiders. Core, no. No, no, no. Why would the exiled one do so kind of hearted person to such a fate? What would the beast have done this to you? Returning whiteboard re report that the package for J. Haydari was head of a young man. According to archives, that he was a member of her trade network on football. Trickster Core, one of the trickster things who engaged the suspect, suspect commercial activity. You, you have, we have finally been alerted to the uh, incoming Vox transmission. My officer standing by to connect you to unidentified parties. Let's see who would display some impudence to a rogue trader. It will be done. Well, I'll be. He's only stroke one throne damned Valencius. I humbly took my word up to him, lad. We mean your no offense. Our convoy is a bit mark of respect to the holy self. You wouldn't have stopped to talk to us, would you, if you haven't given your officers a good scare? Oh, where am I, menace? Forget to introduce myself. Toto, the vulture. You're at, at your most noble service. Your gift? What do you mean by it? Oh, that. Just a little joke to raise a smile, your lordiness, and warning to us one slippery rat. You see, little bird told my boss that uh, the rat I'm after is on your ship. 
that we are perhaps best rat catchers on the side of the mall, your lordship. So we are ready to take a problem right off their hands. All you have to do is put J. Haydari on the board and send her straight to the coordinates we'll give you. My boss has been after her for a while and he's generous to those who help me. You know what, sir, Toto, your worst kind of ass mag. Tell me your son of Crocs and Void Jackal. Who sent you? I'm afraid I can't reveal his name. <laughs> That's it, how terribly dull. Threaten my red unit, you threaten me. So answer is no then. I make a bad negotiation, but the damn fine pirate. Falco says hello, J. Heydari, and screw you. <laughs> okay, so he told who, who sent them. But I don't think their fleet can, can challenge our ship, so that's that's something that we are going to do. Time to earn your keep, crew. Yeah, now, but we have a escort ship of our own, and it's frigate as well as our own. I was thinking that we would get like uh, escort ship destroy or something, but it's it's a frigate. So, okay, more torpedoes. Check another portal, basically. Basically, maybe. No signal. Bridge, we have an unknown object near the head. Not an, an asteroid, clearly artificial in nature, but it's larger than footfall station. Copy that report, relate to officer and duty and pure pilots. Expe expect visual soon. We have visual, but the Look out, this is Voxmaster. I'm adding the pilot, senior officers, and Lord Captain to this channel. His Lordship wishes to assume personal command. Lord Captain, we have requested intel on the object from the Agri Array model, awaiting their response. Lord Captain on the line. No, need to engage the augurs. I know what it is. It's called a web gate. Van Kalox here. What we see before us is a web gate. An artifact that Xenos used to get their sorcerer's realm, so to speak. It allows Aldari to get around the sector quickly and serves as a hideout for their most, most unpleasant tribe, the Drukhari, whom we have, we have already met. You let here, this gate is just like the one you saw in Lilethan. The children of Azuran wandered the void to so, through so, such constructs erected in ancient times. Any ship that passes through the search portal will enter a tangle of bats and fathomable to none but my kin. All papers my autopsy is their agor report. According to available data, the ob object consists of unknown material foreign to Imperium. We are registering an unknown class of energy profile, and it says are at loss about how this technology works exactly, but they did specify at the energometry suggests that the system is holding an active charge. The object appears ready to do whatever whatever it's designed to do. Senior officers take on this. Then Kalox here. What we see before us is a web gate, an artifact. You read that here this gate is just like okay, so 
of weapons fire on the object. Lord Captain orders destroy the object. Activate batteries. Targeting firing 2 1. Confirming contact with the object. Good drone. Report. No effect. I don't know what the thing is made of, but our weapons are powerless against it. Can we activate this device? Perhaps the certain companion of you, yours could. Even if I knew the secret of this gate, I would never surrender it to the monkey. The weapon is our kin's sacred refuge and deadly tap to sort such as you an attack. En enough mysteries. Yes, Lord Captain, maneuver engines changing course. Argent reports from the engine shares on the auger deck. Detecting energy spike on of an unknown nature. Cogitator. Network overloaded perhaps systems offline. Confirming visual changes gate. It what what is that? Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't think it this is going to go well. I can see crimson lights in the void. Okay. Dark Elder ships. Let the void sort them out. Keep up the pressure. Helmsman, take us in. Salvo! Lance battery! Molly! Macro cannons! Open fire! With the force of a supernova! doing it. Victory okay, just ours. Lord Captain, we had dealt with the wardship of this beast, but the Xenos boarding party has landed on the ship. They are advancing steadily towards the plasma drive. The enforcers are being overrun. They are asking our for reinforcements. If you do not help this, this field will destroy our vessel from the inside. Oh no. Okay, now we need to disarm the explosive device. Somehow. Kappa light armor, okay. Cutscene. Okay, there's one one alive. Surviving crew member. I actually saw him before, so he was there. Man in officer uniform, knee and scrapping. No, no, no. Where is he? Where is my son? Wait, he's an operation officer from the deck 60, uh, 67 slash, slash three. Not one of one of our local clans, which I why I remembered him. He helped me bring up the new recruits from the planet. What is he doing here? Takitos, my boy, swamp devils track him off. I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm looking for my son. The Emperor's valiant guards came to save my boy. I showed them with the swamp devil track Takitos. I let them right here like they ask. They make a short work of the nest of those beasts. I'll keep looking my my boy in the meantime. Emperor's valiant guards, okay. Master, will you help? 
be damned if this officer has a son. Pe perhaps he did once, but he emerged without any family in tow. He's cracked for wedge. I believe this monkey is not here by chance. He's been in clutches of the dark ones. His current state might be a bit of fruit of the time spent alongside those masters of torment and madness. There are no cards here. And the ported rope traders vessels and knee deep of Xenos blood and entrails. I don't understand Xenos, what's Xenos? Emperor preserve us. What's this nightmare scene? I was leading Emperor's guards to a swamp devil's nest across the marshlands on my home world. Instead, I was showing way to them. Hallucinations, a heretical mirage. The guards, they weren't very chatty. One of them called me something strange monkey, I think. Something about seizing the ship. When they, did they start? I don't remember. I remember many watches ago visit from the guardsmen. The swamp, swamp devils attacked it seemed. Mental distortion work of Xenos. Drukari are capable in snaring their prey without shackles of feathers. They twist and violate their weakness mind on the unholy instruments. Our cousins are adept to creating concoctions that turn sentient beings into mere beats, seeking agonizing pain. Motive for strike me bound. I think I got it. Xeno Xenos that crew smoked out during the recent warp jump. This poor man must, must have taken him for a guardsman. But remember, Lord Captain, the enraged Drukari who had bent several crew members to his will. I don't think we had that side quest. How many more like him are roaming the decks waiting for the new masters to give them an order? Until the last beast of that race of enemies of humanity are dead, then is that we continue to suffer torment. Is this not a sign that most doggedly to rid the universe of Xenos? You are clearly seriously injured. You must be taken to the infirmary. I don't deserve to live after what I have done. My mind is probably corrupted good any, any already. I'm looking at you and I can see behind you the Marshware tactic is vanished. Dogmatic execute the traitor. Well, I don't think, yeah, you could, you could say this, but in the end, it's also Emperor's mercy. It's dogmatic way to give Emperor's mercy, which is shoot. Uh, even even Kiapas gain. There's a pre pretty good uh, book series which centers around. Uh, Commissar who is total coward, Siapas Kane, <laughs> he's, he's the hero of the 40k books. The less him, him and humor, but he, he executed, uh, he never executes any, any, anyone, summarily, but he executed uh, two guardsmen who were infected by the Tyranids, because it's like, it's a like bad thing, <laughs> alien, alien kind of thing. So it, it was uh, Emperor's Mercy, so... Uh, being dogmatic here, you can you can be a, a emperor's mercy because because he he is not really a heretic. This is where I, I I think differently from the from the writing here. Take the body to the infirmary and I try to put, identify the cause of his madness. Well, I don't think it's going to work anymore. To the world around them. Okay. Okay, we found, got the slit <laughs> to our collection. Okay, what's wrong?
You let what a pleasant surprise to see you here. I had no idea this was your dwelling until I entered it. On my craft we are held a simple custom. You may set your food whatever path your path requires. Sacred Guard was only exception to this rule. Is there something sacred in this room, Elantak? I do not think so. I'm some, uh, somewhat surprised, but I'm not top, uh, opposed, opposed to such visit. You may come here anytime you like. Do I need the permission to do so? But it's your entire world contained within this tiny metal cage, Elantak. Your ship, your chambers, they are but a speck of dust, an island, a temporary shelter in a world that's far bigger and more expensive than, well, enough of that. Now that you are here, I wish to be, speak with you about our agreement. I've traveled through the veil many times inside your string winged bird. Every time her voice torments me, trying to drive me mad. Her whispers fill my ears head each time I enter the warp. Inescapable and incessant. Poison inf inflaming every single emotion and thought, and thought. Making them uncontrollable. I learned to shut myself off as best I can. Just so I might have the chance to search what I've lost. We found everyone we could, Elantak. All of them were dead. But the thread of fate is broken, and I no longer know how to help my people. I failed to save anyone. And I failed to learn truth about Kudarak's demise. I've lost my way. And I thought you were the only person on this ship who might understand. I've I was not wrong to think so, was that I? No matter what you tried to keep your promise, every other species loves to stamp out any life form they find undesirable. Do not give up, you will find you what you are looking for. But this is, is this another console? Send what do you? Strange sounds similar to the stiff sigh here, okay, strength on something past you. What is this monkey? Stain's Sard has been here since the least of the day of your ascension, Rock Trader's throne. Looking closely, I know what next your mind. Maybe disfigured and corroded by some Anga power, but it vaguely resembles Ratbone, a material crafted by Eldari. Something has changed as though you have got yourself off from me. You relate what's going on. You are observant, Elantak, how unusual. But there's no need to trouble your mind with conjecture. I have inflected any of my unbridled feelings upon you, but I'm in control again. Enough, I have lingered here too long. From now on, I will avoid entering places you would prefer to keep hidden from me. Time. Okay, Trukhari void ships attacking my planet. That will not do. Light cruiser, okay, dark mirror. That's big. Oh, they are fighters. Oh no. That's a battleship size.
With the force of a supernova! Fire at will. Torpedoes, away! They took on every every bomber down. Yeah, so in the battlefield Gothic, which was a board game, you could have like a different kind of base in in these large ships, and you could la launch fighters and bombers. So it's so that's that's like real really uh, capital ship, light cru cruiser. I wonder what's heavy cruiser is that if that's a light cruiser. What Raven Bomber. Okay, so they are basically launching about every turn. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Leave for one day and that this is this is how you're <laughs> yeah, how you underlings actually manage things. Although although it's probably yeah. It's those pesky uh, dark elder that have been like bomb bombing the place. Event the one balance is palace. Always keep your eye on the prize. Greetings, your lordship. Okay. Your lordship, is it really you? We all lost our hope of seeing you again. Dragonus has been hit by mass Xenos attack. Fleet's resistance was broken in mere hours. Then the invaders commenced the planetary raid. Planetary defense forces were able to hold the inner perimeters of several cities. The attacks were stifled on the approaches to the settlements, but the fights continue. Here as well in the Von Bronze's palace. Where's Achilles calendar? I thought I would see him here by your side. The secretary exact whereabouts are unknown, but under normal circumstances, he already set foot outside the palace grounds. I'm sure you realize what this could mean. The Rukari are after living victims of all, all else. Why would they waste their forces assaulting place, the palace when they could be storming another city? Alas, I don't know the answer, Lordship. When the Xenos attacked the palace, they sent a force so great that the increased warden presence and planetary perimeter were wiped out in a minute. By the throne, they, by the, whatever they, they are looking in here, they, they, are too sp they spared no troops to get their hands on it. Where's the government drives then? Well, fortified bunker, as all heads of of the other noble houses. What's the current situation? PDF is on its last legs, your lordship. We have been waiting of our attrition for too long that any chance to support from outside. I pray the emperor that your arrival will change the tide of this operation. 
Palace is anchor point in enemy's raid. A wax engineer are registering unknown signals coming from your residence to other areas on the planet. The scum must have set up the control center inside. We take out their command and we'll weaken the preparation forces. The details. Several Hive cities managed to hold their permanent or their sustain greater losses. Two cities were completely devastated. You did all you could. Xenos are dangerous opponents. Thank you, Lordship. Enough talking, I'm going in. <laughs> Any more covers in here, here, to the line. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's how Imperial justice works. Keep your wits about you. 